Hey, good morning. It's Wednesday. Welcome back to the Den of Iniquity that is Ken Shavey and BSing home of your original Big Shave Best Champion, as always. And this morning, uh, more uh, commercial shave. However, we're going to go back to the Ball End Tech with the Silver Blue Blade that's been used once. So, um, last time I used this, very comfortable shave. I believe it was with another set of commercial products. I was very pleased with the outcome. Going to go back to the same brush I believe I used last time with a type of shave like this, which is the Razor Rock BC Silver Tip Synthetic, which is a lovely synthetic brush, great look, not expensive at all. Um, just great performer, 24 millimeter. We're going to prep with the cube, <laughs> or the puck, or the, I don't know what you call it now. It's square, but definitely not a cube. <laughs> anyway. Soap and aftershave for the days could be another Spanish, more commercial project, uh, product, pardon me. And I don't know how you pronounce it. I pronounce it like my last name. My last name is Lee. It's spelled L-E-A. Hence, here you go. It's probably Leah because it's Spanish. But we got the aftershave, the classic aftershave, which I picked up at, uh, at the... Uh, the North, Northeast uh, Wet Shavers meet up in 2017 off the PIF table. I only took a couple things that were kind of, like I got Brute Dominant. Someone put that there. I don't know why. You can't get that anymore. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> and then uh, I bought the soap just recently. I don't remember where. Come to think of it. I don't know from where I ordered it. Oh, well. Might have been a Maggard order. I can't remember. Doesn't matter. So, this has no perfume, and it's the original scent, been around since 1823, the company has in some fashion, and the stick comes like this, no wrapping, just with the uh, tube covering, much like La Toca, La Toja, La Toja, whatever. So we're going to go with that. I got the tap warmed, I'm going to put the uh, razor and blade under it, let it get, get some warmth, wet the face another work day at home crappy part is my AC blow my motor is gone out let's hear it for home warranty in terms of saving me money but it's gonna be one to two weeks before the part comes in thankfully yesterday was a fairly cool day in Texas it didn't get really above 83 and I was able to sleep with my windows open and some fans going, and it felt just excellent. I may eventually do a shave just with the cube and see if it's possible. Probably not, but it may be. I'm going to throw a little more water in there. Alright. Let's get the stick out. Excuse me while I whip this out. Wet it. Get the soap into the bristles. So as commercial products go, I think I have my shave soap stick game covered. I've got Leah, I've got Latoka, I've got Palmolive, I've got Wilkinson Sword, and I've got Spike. If you know of any commercial products, not artisan, that come in a stick form, let me know in the comments. I'd be most curious. But I would prefer they have a matching aftershave. Especially if they're pleasant. I know Palm Olive and uh, Wilkinson sort of don't believe they do, but the other ones do, and they're great aftershaves. Very nice commercial. Right, wet the brush. Distilled water, as he's at. There we go. Not really picking up a scent off this, that's good. I shouldn't.
Well, it's just clean. Not even... Well, there's a little scent. I should say... I'm going to check something here. Oh no, there is a little, little set. So I think it says new set. New <laughs> should know my Spanish better. Uh, my ignorance there be well, not ignorance. I know what it said. I just didn't have it right. I just the brain was off. But it's definitely not strong. It's clean. It's nice. It's fresh. It's not, it's not soapy like a palm olive or a Wilkinson sword, but it's inoffensive, it's light, you almost won't think it's there, clearly, <laughs> even my brain off in the morning here. With the cube and some distilled water, it lathers up nicely. I'll have a problem here. All right. Plenty in the brush. <laughs> I'm sure, the cube does give it give it some help there. I'm gonna reopen the razor. I, I opened it last night. I saw some hairs and stuff in the last shave. I just wanna. Give the blade a good rinse off again. All right. Standard three piece, good weight, small diameter handle. Smooth. Yeah, feels great. Performing well. <laughs> Feeling really good. Gliding along. This combo is excellent in terms of razor and uh, blade. <sighs> had a good day at home <laughs> work <laughs> had to brief my uh, basically my financial controller at our command just a major I mean it's not like the big big boss but he goes forward to brief the boss, the bigger boss, his boss, about where our money is going. And we have, in the Air Force, there's R&D money, there's, let's see, there's, well, stuff I used to use called working capital funds. And then there's, in places that don't get paid with what they call working capital funds. There's procurement funds, there's research and development funds, and there's O&M operation and maintenance funds or sustainment funds. 
they're called L and M really, but they can fall under sustainment. And they all have each three of those have different codes. And there are with the uh, working capital funds and sustainment or O and M dollars and procurement dollars, there is a threshold that's the same level. It's like if you're spending this much, it becomes a different thing. So or you can use the other pot of money. I don't know if it's a hard firm that you have to if you exceed it, but you definitely can. That's if you're buying something new, not a... Well, it goes over. Yeah, I think it's more if you're buying something versus just like renewing like software licenses. Anyway, so I had to brief it on the O&M dollars and he was very pleased with the feedback. It was more an education session because he's not as familiar with the IT world as I've become. Hell, I don't even know half my stuff. But I can speak to where, what I do with the program on which I work. So, and uh, I like when I do well and get positive feedback. That always helps the resume. <laughs> So it was a good day at work, but it started out a little frustrating because I felt like I had to repeat myself to somebody locally that they already should have remembered this. Not that my memory is that good, it's just it was short and easy. And now here I am, I'm almost yelling at the screen going, I already told you that. <laughs> and I mean by yelling at the screen was it was over Messenger, so there was no hot mics or anything. <laughs> I was not on a video call or or or, a, or anything like that. I just have a little pesky hair right there to make sure I get in the right direction. So. You know, I'm thankful I get to work from home and the, the, the IT to enable that is being steady finally after the uh, first few weeks of hiccups. There's only really two things I can't access because they're on their classified network. So I do have to go in the office and we'll be returning more to an someone in an office environment pretty soon which is good although I I haven't missed the commute I mean it's not bad it's just the traffic and idiots on the road and all that yeah well what are you gonna do right we're gonna leave this shave here I'm not even gonna go forward but plenty in the brush see I mean plenty let's do the test just to yeah, you can't really complain with that lather. Um, hmm. Actually did really well there. I could probably hit right here, which I think I will. So let me rinse my hands real quick. It's gonna be a pretty short shave, even with all my talking. All right, looks like, oh yeah, oh, that's okay. Oh, weeper, I saw a little, little pink in the, in the soap there off the razor.
little cool water, little album block, clothes off. Feedback, but not bad. Not bad. All right, we'll have some nice aftershave here. Ooh, CPAP, you get a little moist up there. <laughs> This one has a great stopper. It's a insert stopper, but it's a tiny aperture. So it works really well. All right. Now this stuff has a scent. I'd equate it close to spike. If you have regular spike, it's very similar towards that floral tip and very, very similar. I'd say it's like a 80, 85% similarity in scent. I don't know what's in it to, to make a difference. Like what would give it that, that scent? We know the spike plant is pretty much the reason it has what it, you know, why it smells that way, but. All right. So that was the Lee or Leah shave stick and aftershave hardware, Joint Silver Blue and a Fat Handle Tech and BC Silver Tip Synthetic from Razor Rock with the cube pre shave and Allen block as part of the post shave as well. So with that, um, Oh, I want to bring up possibly next shave will be from Lubbock, Texas, Up City Soaps Doctrine. Aventus scent, I'll give you more of a breakdown. After I kind of did an off-camera first impression that when it came yesterday. And let's just say for those like Woody versus Pineapple Aventus. It's maybe a bet for you. But we'll talk more about that in the next shave. So Geo says have a have a great shave, have a great day. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. Cheers. Too sweet to the good bros and good sisters out there. Champ loves you. We'll see you in the next shave, folks. Have a great day.